Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a, another fun video for you and I'm really excited about this one. Of course, I'm excited about all my videos like I said in the last one. Today's video I think is extra exciting because I am doing a one brand makeup look with you today. It's not so much a first impressions. I have tried out these products a few times. Some of them, well, one of them I actually haven't tried out at all, so that'll be a total first impressions. I'll let you know when we get to that point. Um, but most of them I have been trying for a few days now just to get a feel for them, see how they work, and I'm so excited about them, like I'm obsessed. So the brand that I'm gonna be featuring today, as you can already see in the title, is Il Maquillage. This is the box. And what's really special, about this video is that this brand is just amazing. They recently posted on their Instagram once everything happened with coronavirus and makeup artists were forced to stop working. Ale Maquillage decided to create like that a platform on their website for their clients and for new customers and like that to take virtual makeup lessons through the brand. So the company was nice enough to hire makeup artists all over the country, maybe even the world, I'm not too sure. So amazing, and I was lucky enough to be one of the makeup artists who were chosen to do virtual makeup lessons through the brand. So I am like beyond grateful to Il Maquillage for creating this program and starting this up. I think it is really, really nice. With that, they were nice enough to also allow me to choose a few products from their website, and I can pretty much create a full face with everything that I got. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're just gonna use a bunch of Il Maquillage products, try them out on camera, and have a lot of fun. So let's get into it. Really cute look. I just clipped my bangs back just so they're not in the way while we're doing our makeup. So I'm gonna start with the face just because, I don't know, sometimes I start with eyes, sometimes I start with face. Today I just feel like starting with the face. So the first thing we're gonna be applying today is the No Filter Poreless Face Smoothing Primer. It looks like this. Their packaging is literally so stunning. So pretty, and just a pump bottle, which is perfect. I'm gonna pump a little bit of that onto my palette and apply that with my fingers. So this is gonna give us a nice smooth base for the foundation. It really smooths out all of your pores and makes everything apply really nicely. All right, so I'm super smooth now. Now we're gonna go in with foundation. I feel like this is like Il Maquillage's hero product just because they have this amazing online quiz that you take to match your foundation color because they're not sold in store they're technology based so you can only purchase this on their website you take this little test that asks you about your skin tone how your skin looks like in the summer and the warmer months your skin type things like that and it chooses a color for you and helps shade match for you. And then I believe if it, you don't get the right match, like if it, you get it and it doesn't match, you can send it back and retake the test. This actually matches me perfectly, which is amazing. So I'm in shade 040, 40. And I love that it's a pump bottle. I think the packaging is super nice and high quality. It's all glass. So really excited about this. I'm even more so excited about this formula. If you've watched my videos, you know I really don't wear like regular foundation very often just because I really like, you know, lighter coverage, a lighter feeling. So I usually go for a tinted moisturizer, but this might have changed me because this foundation, while it is like a medium buildable coverage, it feels like there's nothing on your skin whatsoever. It literally is just so smooth and lightweight and doesn't feel like sticky at all. Oh, it's so amazing. I feel like I forget that I'm even wearing makeup when I have this on. And the color match that they chose is pretty much perfect. Um, I really, this is probably what I would have chosen in store if I was matching myself. So it totally evened out my skin and it's buildable. So I could go in with another layer if I wanted to and I might in a few places. Just around my chin and my nose, that's where I get a little bit more redness. So I'm just tapping in place where I want a little extra coverage. And then I'm gonna bring it down my neck. I'm gonna zoom you guys extra close so you can see the finish of the foundation. So this is what it looks like. Ignore my lips, but it's stunning. Feels like nothing, it's just a little bit sticky, but it, I'm gonna set it so it'll be Manified, but oh my god, I'm obsessed. So next up we have concealer. 
Their concealer is called the F I'm Flawless, F Star CK I'm Flawless Concealer. And it looks like this. You can see the color right here, which is really nice. And I do have two shades. I have 2.5 and 3. I actually have one 2.5 in a giveaway that Kathleen Lights was doing with Il Maquillage a few months ago. So this was the color that it matched me to at that time. And then when I purchased products again, they asked me to purchase a concealer. So I just chose a different color just to match like more of my summer shade. So I'm going to put both of these on today just so you can see the different colors. I'll be able to brighten up my under eye and stuff with 2.5, whereas 3 is a little bit more like barely lighter than my skin tone, but I kind of like that. I don't like my concealers to be too light because I don't want like that white cast under my eyes. What I really love about this concealer is how lightweight it is. Now, most concealers that I use, I'm like, oh, I need them to be thick and full coverage, but... Once I used this one, I realized that you don't really need it to be like super thick. A thick full coverage foundation is nice. I mean, concealer is nice, but with this, you definitely get coverage, but it's not like just sitting all over your skin and looking really thick or anything. And on your under eyes, I really like it under my eyes because it doesn't really settle into my lines under my eyes because it is so thin but it still covers my dark circles. So I would say that is a win-win. And I really love mixing these two colors, by the way. I feel like it makes my perfect color. I mean, I could use either or, but the mix is perfect. The concealer is not too dewy, not too matte. It's like just that perfect in between. So now I'm just gonna set this. I don't have an Il Maquillage setting powder. Unfortunately, it was sold out when I was placing my order. So I'm just gonna quickly use my Hourglass setting powder. The next product is probably one of my like top five, maybe even top three. So this is the Mineral Baked Bronzer in the shade Waka Waka. First of all, I just love this packaging. You just kind of like twist off the top, which I feel like none of my bronzers have packaging like that and I don't know why I like it so much, just that it's different. And then this is like a magnifying glass. I don't know, it's just really unique. I feel like it's pretty cool. And then this is the bronzer, and this shade is delectable, like delicious. So we're gonna bronze. This is extremely pigmented, so I'm gonna go in with a very fluffy, like flimsy, fluffy brush and tap into the bronzer as light as possible, tap it off a bunch, and then apply it with a very light hand. color is so nice. I'm so excited. All right, we're all bronzed up. I think that is stunning. And when I do have a little bit more of a tan, when it gets to the warmer months, I can pack that out a little bit more and get a little bit more pigment out of it, but it'll work for all year, just because you can go in with a light hand and get a nice wash of bronze all over your face. I love it. So unfortunately, the only other product that I don't have is blush from the Maquillage, so I'm just gonna go in with a brand new blush. And we're doing a very like sun-kissed, glowy, bronzy look today, so I'm bringing the blush and the bronzer over the center of my face, like my nose and my forehead and stuff. Their packaging is just so, like, it feels like good quality. Like, I know the price point's up there, but this feels like such good quality. After blush, we're going to do highlight. For highlight, I have the Mineral Highlighter in the shade Satin. So this is a loose highlight. This is what it looks like. So it's a stunning kind of, like, peachy champagne golden color. And I just pick up some of the product, put it into the lid, and move my brush around in there, and then tap off. There is a lot of glitter, so we're going to tap it off and just put this right over like the blush. This is a little bit pigmented for my skin tone right now, so I do use it more of like a blush topper slash highlight on a fluffier brush. This is from Anastasia. With all of these mineral products, the mineral bronzer, the mineral um, highlight, you can add water to these. You can use them in like a liquid form, like cream form. So you can totally spray your brush before applying the highlight if you want. 
I did that yesterday and it looked amazing. I like it both ways. So you just kind of play with it and figure out what works best for you. Just so pretty. Look at that glow. Hmm, I love it. And then what I'll normally do anytime is just go over with my blush brush, like over the highlight and the blush and just blend them together so they mesh really nicely. All right, so that is the face. I'll zoom you in again, just so you can see how everything looks up close. The blend is freaking amazing. Like my skin right now is perfect to me at least. So let's move on to the eyes. Oh my God, the eyes, these are some in my top five as well. So I just zoomed you in nice and close to the eyes. So for eyes, Il Makiage does have a few palettes to choose from. I ended up going with the Color Boss, Boss? I can't say Boss. Squad multi-dimensional eye color quad in the shade called the shots. It looks like this and this is like literally my favorite kind of palette just bronzy warm tones and these eyeshadows feel so different. They don't feel like powder at all. They feel almost creamy and they're so pigmented like even the matte brown is just insane. So we're gonna play with these today. I'm gonna start off with just a synthetic fluffy brush and I'm gonna take the shade no bullshit i think um there's the shade names are on the back here sorry if you can't see that from the reflection but i'm not sure exactly which is which but i'm going to take the dark brown on the fluffy brush just a little bit of product and we're going to place this in the outer corner first and then drag it into the crease so i want the most color here on the outer corner and i'm going with a really light hand since this is a darker shade and then i'm going to drag it into the inner crease These are such interesting shadows because like I said, they're not powdery. Like they almost feel like a cream shadow, but they blend so beautifully. I don't know, really, really, really interesting. Another thing that I forgot to mention that I really like about this brand is that most of their products are either made in Europe, Italy, Germany, and the US, which is really great. I know Europe, has really good, what's it called? Like laws when making makeup. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> I am gonna take a little bit of the bronzer and blend this into my crease as well, just to warm it up and add another transition shade. And then I'm gonna take the bronze shade right here. I think this is Scandal. And I'm actually gonna just put that right on my finger, apply this to my entire lid. And then I'm just gonna go back in with the fluffy brush and blend out the edges. Sticking with the same palette, I'm gonna take the lightest shade here, which I think is Sorry Not Sorry, and on a pencil brush, I'm just gonna bring that into my inner corner and blend it about like, you know, a quarter of the way onto the lid. Just blend it in with that bronze shade. And I'm also gonna place a little bit of this under my brow. And then for the lower lash line waterline, I am gonna first line my waterline with this long wear eyeliner pencil in the shade Eskimo. So it's a nice like light cream shade. This is gonna really open up the eyes. I'm gonna do this before I blend any shadow. So I'm just gonna apply this, hold down my eye a little bit. And then I'm just gonna go in with a pencil brush and the darker brown in the palette and blend out, blend this out on my lower lash line. You can also dip into the bronze shade a little bit just to give it a little bit of like bronzy, goddessy sparkle down there. I'm just gonna blend this out on the lower lash line. Nice and smoky. Now this is the one product that I had not tried out yet. This is the ink liner in the shade black. This is their liquid liner pen. I am so excited to try this. I am a little nervous, but I wanna do a liner today and I wanna try this out. So let's do it together. I'm just gonna start by lining my lash line and then we'll create the little wing.
that was so smooth and easy I can't believe that and I love the finish it's totally matte hopefully it lasts all day beautiful just gonna turn off the camera and do the other eye if you guys want to see a more in-depth tutorial on how I do my wings I did just post an all about eyes makeup tutorial the other day that was my last video so I go into depth on exactly how I do that so I'm just gonna do the other eye and then we will come back okay I'm back eyeliner is done I think it's even I'm trying to figure that out this one might be a little bit longer question is how much do I care I'm just kidding I'm pretty sure they're even we'll decide in a bit I could always go back and fix that so the last step for eyes is mascara I have the icon high volume and intense curl mascara here the brush looks like this so far so good I've really been liking this mascara I think it gives me a lot of length that separates my my lashes really nicely so a plus on that What I really like about this mascara as well is that it is a thinner formula, so it layers really, really nicely. I've had other mascaras that I've tried layering, doing like more than one coat, and it just gets crazy clumpy, but this one just adds the perfect amount of volume when you add a second coat. All right, that is it for the eyes. Let's move on to brows. I have a couple of brow products from Mil Maquillage that we are gonna try out today. So before we start, I am just gonna go in with a spoolie in my brows and just brush them up into the direction that I want them to go. And then to fill in my brows, I'm gonna be using the Il Maquillage Brow Pen in the shade Coco. Looks like this. And you just scroll it up to get the pencil out. This shade is beautiful. What I really like about the Il Maquillage website is, again, it is a little bit harder than shopping in a store because you can't swatch things, but what really helped me choose all of my colors was that they had pictures of people wearing their products and they put in there exactly what color and what product that person was using. So that really helped because I could see people's like skin tone and hair color and things like that and base my decision off of that. So I felt that was really helpful. So I'm just gonna go in and start filling in my brows with this brow pen. I do want to say literally the only thing from all, out of all the products that I got from Mil Maquillage, the only flaw that I've found is that the brow pen doesn't have a spoolie. I have spoolies in my vanity, so it's not really a problem for me, but if you're new to doing your brows, make sure if you're going to buy this that you stock up on some spoolies to brush your brows out because you really do need to blend out any of those harsh lines. But I do really like this pencil, even though it doesn't have the spoolie. I like how pigmented and it's almost like a little waxy. I just went ahead and filled in the other brow off camera. And then I'm going to go in with another brow product. This is the Hypnotize Filling Fix Brow Shaper. This is basically a tinted brow gel. I got mine in the shade Truffles. They do have the same, I believe the same shades in the brow pen that they, that they have in this. But I kind of wanted to try out a couple different shades and because my hair is multi-dimensional, I figured I could do two different shades in my brows as well to create a little bit of dimension. So this is just going to thicken your brow hairs, make them a little bit more pigmented, and I really, really like this. I'm really picky about my brow gels, like my tinted brow gels. This one definitely passes my test. <laughs> I love it. I feel like with the more waxy brow pen and the brow gel, I get that really nice like fluffy brow look. I am really enjoying that. So we are done with the eyes, done with the brows. I'm now gonna set my face. They do have a setting spray, which I really like. This is the hydrating setting spray. Comes in a little spray bottle. And I've really been enjoying this too. I feel like it brings a little bit more life and hydration to my skin. The spray is pretty nice. So I do hold it kind of far away just cause it can be a little intense if you're holding it really close. So I just hold it far away and give my whole face a nice mist. It smells really good too. I don't know what that is, but it smells amazing. So I'm just gonna let that sink in. And now we can finish off the look with lips. So I have two lip products. Unfortunately, I didn't buy good matches. Like these don't really go together, but I figured I would show you what they look like. So this is the waterproof lip liner in the shade Vintage. It has the color on the end. 
It's a really nice pink lip liner, just classic pink, which I really like, so I'm gonna use it, but I might just have to mix it with like a different lipstick. And then I have the Infinity Longwear Matte Lip Cream, which again, this packaging is so incredible and like high quality. And this is what the lip cream looks like. So obviously those don't match at all. We have more of a cool toned mauve and then a pink. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna apply the lip cream today because I feel like it'll go with this look. This lip cream is so pretty and pigmented and just a really nice formula. They're really long lasting as well. Like it's hard to get it off my hand. All right guys, so that is everything from Il Maquillage, full face except for blush and setting powder, but literally everything else is from Il Maquillage. And I don't know why you guys, but I think it looks amazing. I really love everything that I tried. I feel like it's all super high quality, very pigmented, just feels amazing on my skin. I could not be happier. Let me know if you try out this brand. I'm gonna leave their link down below. Go look at their website, take the quiz to match your foundation and your concealer, and hopefully you guys try it out and you enjoy the products as much as I do. Make sure you like this video so I know what kind of content you guys wanna see. Subscribe to my channel, comment down below if you have any questions or just wanna chat. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.